Welcome to South Haven Business Beat. Business and community leaders talk with us to provide invaluable resources to aid the business community. At the Hope Center, we believe in the power of mentorship to change lives. For over 19 years, we've been empowering youth through guidance, opportunity, and support. Through one-on-one -on -one and group mentoring, we provide students from grades three through 12 with safe spaces to grow, connect, and dream big. Our mentors are dedicated to creating lasting, positive change for every child. However, mentorship goes beyond the classroom. We create meaningful experiences, bowling outings, trips to the zoo, and special community events, helping young people build friendships and confidence. We also bring in local leaders to inspire and show our students what's possible, connecting them with real-world role models. Join us in building a brighter future. Visit HopeCenter1USA.com to learn how you can support, volunteer, or donate. Here is our host, Kristen Engelke. Hey, and welcome to South Haven Business Beat. I'm your host, Kristen Engelke, and we are here today with Miss Tamika Allen. And she is going to tell us about her business, All In Life Coaching. Ms. Tamika, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning to you as well, Kristen. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I am Tamika Allen. I am the proprietor of All In Life Coaching and Consulting. I am in the process now of rebranding and expanding. So um, if you see a little different things on my website or logo or anything like that, it's because I'm rebranding. But um the business is a life coaching and consulting business, and it I specialize in relationship and wellness. Um, my motto is all in or nothing. That is a space in which we go all in to dive deeper into the core of what's going on with you so we can set goals and you can uh, make a plan and we, you know, execute them, and I hold you accountable for those goals. Um, I'm also in the process of developing two programs to my business uh, for expansion, and I hope to launch those in December. Well, not hope, I will launch those in December. And I'm really excited about that. So I kind of, uh, lately I've pulled away from all of the things that I do every day to focus solely on that. Because in order for me to move forward, I had to take a step back. So that's kind of where I am today. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see all of the growth and changes that you have coming. I've known you for a couple of years now, and you have been just an amazing blessing to me and to the chamber. Um, tell me a little bit more about your background. How did All In get started, and what drives you to do what you do? Well, All In got started um, from behind the chair. I'm a retired hairstylist and cosmetology educator. And 20-some um, years ago, this one customer was always telling me, um, you know, I would be a teacher. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to. I don't want to go to school and do all of that. But it came into another form, which is this. So a hairstylist is my gift. But life coaching consulting is my call. And so I tell people all the time, my gift birthed my call. And so... Uh, that's kind of how that started. And what drives me and keeps me vote motivated and keep going is because I strive to be the person I needed growing up. I needed somebody like myself growing up, someone that was passionate about helping people, uh, hearing people's voices when they're not speaking, hearing people when they're quiet. I needed someone like that. So <clears throat> that is my drive. That's that was keeping me going. That's what keeps me going. That's incredible. I know there's a lot of times people don't realize it, but that is exactly how they work with others, how they love others is oftentimes what they were lacking. You know, we love the way we want to be loved. So that that's incredible that you're able to do that and see that and use that to reach others. That's, that's, that's how it formulate it. That's awesome. And I, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah. So you said that you're launching some new programs coming in December. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Um, I wanted to keep it disclosed, but I can, I can just, share Just a little snippet. Um, just a little, little peek. I'm going to launch a program. I'm just going to tell you, launch a program called Inner Child Healing. And that's a program where people like ourselves have been harboring things from childhood growing up and all of those things. And it's 
it's showing up in places like our relationships, our jobs, you know, relationships with our kids, uh, our peers at work, and nobody knows how to tackle those things. So, uh, and I am one of those per- people. So I formulated a program from the way I overcame all of that to help other individuals. And um, the other program I'm launching is a support group. Uh, It's a Mastering of the Mind Support Alliance. And it's a support group for people that um, just need everyday help. You know, no judgment. We come in and we have a conversation. We bounce ideas off each other. We, um, you know, there's no competition. It's just a, just a general organic conversation relationships we're building and, you know, we're going to grow from each other. So, um, I think we need that in this community, a support group. So I'm going to, you know, I am working on that as well. Absolutely. I know I've heard you say, and I know you've done motivational speaking before, but I know that you say that you are not a motivational speaker. So what are you well, and what's the difference? From the demand and the concerns of different individuals I've came in contact with, as well as clients, peers, or whatever, um, I've gotten a lot of feedback and they were saying how inspiring what I do and, you know, the way I help them is. And so I said, okay, and I've got to think, and, I, you know, I'm always thinking of creative things, different things, out-of-the-box things. I said, okay. So I'm going to graduate myself from a motivational speaker and I am an inspirational reacher because that's just what I do. And, uh, yeah, so that's how that came about. I love that because you're reaching out to that one. Right. Making that serious connection. Right. And bringing them along. Right. And showing them where their journey needs to lead. I love that. Reach one, pull another one in. So, yeah. Thank you. So, is there anything from our previous conversations that you wanted to share here today that we haven't covered? Um, no, other than if you want to tackle the burnout of everyday wears and tears, contact me. I'm here for you. Provide those services because I want everybody to strive and do well on a day-to-day basis. Live for today. Stop thinking about what didn't happen yesterday because we can't do anything about that. So let's just focus on today and set a goal for tomorrow. And then that, that we, you know, each day at a time we can get better instead of putting everything out. Okay. I got this big table. I'm gonna put everything on, you know, on my plate. I need to eat all of this right now. Don't worry about eating all of that. Just take one portion at a time. So that's what I mean by day by day, instead of putting everything on your calendar and, um, you know, trying to tackle it, and you can't do it, and you're disappointed. So don't put that much weight on your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So you are all about helping people realize their potential, mm-hmm. inspiring them to move one step at a time. Mm-hmm. Who inspires you the most? Who inspires me? Um, it's this lady I've met about five years ago my mom died when I was 10 so my father was like barely there and I met this woman (laughs) y'all and it was like an instant connection I had never met her before and um she introduced herself to me and I introduced myself to her and we shook hands and it was like an instant energy and um I talked to her a little bit later on that day and she was like yeah um you're my person I said yeah and you're my person so she is that person that I go to when I need to empty my cup because I take so much in from everybody else. My cup is overflowing. And as life coach, therapists, counselors, we don't have anybody to, you know, release all of that energy to. So by her being that person, I can just be myself without feeling judged, without feeling uncomfortable. Uh, and, and I just met her. So, you know, I'm an energy person, and and that's where my energy went. So she's my person. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you do have somebody because that is a difficult burden to bear because you are helping people through their struggles, but by doing so, you're being empathetic 
and taking those emotions onto yourself. So you do need somebody to have that outlet. Right. And it's hard for me to be vulnerable, you know, because of my upbringing. Uh, You know, I have, I was the strong person, so I had to keep all that in. So that was my way of being vulnerable. And it's just, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, definitely. Well, I've known you for a couple of years and we have somewhat of similar story and it is difficult to let your guard down with certain people. So it's a huge blessing when God puts somebody in your life that you can be that with. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Yeah, you are a beacon of light to me as well, Kristen. Uh, I talk about you all the time to my daughter. I say, Kristen is so bubbly. She is like, when you see her, like your mood just changed. Like this morning I saw you, I was like, you're so bright. (laughs) Thank you. I try. I mean, life is so serious as an adult. We have so much put on us all the time. And I want to make sure that somebody smiles. Right. When they see me, I no matter what's going on in your life, you need to walk away with a smile. Right. That's awesome. Because we're not promised tomorrow and worrying about all the other mess. It really does pale in comparison, Mm -hmm. you know? So I love that. Well, this is awesome. I love having you here and getting to hear about your story and everything. I want to take just a moment, though. We really need to thank our sponsors of the South Haven Business Beat podcast. So, guys, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Staying ahead in a world driven by technology is key. At Wisdom Integrators, we simplify tech solutions for your business. We specialize in customizing audio, video, and IT services tailored to your needs. At Wisdom Integrators, we don't just solve problems, we create opportunities. Wisdom Integrators, connecting your world, solving your problems. Make your next event unforgettable with the Follow app. Connect instantly, stay organized, and never miss an opportunity. Ditch the business cards, go digital with the Follow app. Network effectively, exchange contacts seamlessly, and grow your business. The Follow app transforming the way professionals connect at events. Now back to South Haven Business Beat and host Kristen Engelke. Hey guys, welcome back to South Haven Business Beat. I'm here with our guest, Miss Tamika Allen, and we are talking about All In Life Coaching, her business where she reaches others one-on-one and help them to move into the life that they need. So, Miss Tamika, what sets you apart. There are so many people that say that they do business coaching, they do life coaching, therapists. What sets you apart from all the others? Um, What sets me apart is I'm an inspirational reacher. I thrive to be more than a motivational speaker, more than a life coach. Uh, I, I do my best to make sure each client or anybody I come in contact with leaves with something uh, that they didn't come with, leave with something positive. So that's what's setting me apart from others. You know, I try to make sure that I reach and inspire each person that I come in contact with. Awesome. Whether it's on the job or not, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you had talked about before um, is about healthy relationships and being able to build healthy relationships and being able to recognize when you are in one or what to look for everything you see in magazines it always talks about your red flags what are you looking out for are you in a toxic relationship and all that good stuff what are some green flags what are some things for people to look for and say this is a healthy relationship i am in a healthy relationship when you the things, green flags that you would look for uh, where you don't have to look for is, uh, we'll look for, you don't have to ask the same thing consistently. Um, the person that you're interested in, which is volunteer and do things for you without you, you know, constantly saying, they know your love language, they know your body language. You don't have to say, I'm not, I don't feel like talking today. You know, body language says that. So if a person recognizes those small things about you, that's a green flag. If a person is compassionate about you, they're going to do things like, you know, bring you coffee this morning because they know you like coffee. You didn't have to ask me for coffee. Coffee They will send you flowers, (laughs) you know, because they know you like flowers. You you don't have to say, send me flowers every week. That's a green flag. Um, If they're... 
paying attention to your feelings. That's a that's a green flag. And you know, we women, we are emotional creatures. We love for people to read us with our other person. So if they if they are attentive to you towards your feelings, your emotional uh well being, that's a green flag as well. So is there anything else in specific you wanna touch on about that? <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but I think I've got a whole bunch of green flags in my relationship. You do, and I see that y'all display <laughs> it all the time I'm talking about. Each time I see y'all, y'all, you know, display that. So, yeah, I want to be like y'all when I grow up. I don't know about <laughs> that now. Well, I always end up telling people that first and foremost, I want to build those relationships. The chamber always says that relationships create commerce and that's something that is truly passionate about building business before I ever even became the event coordinator at the chamber I was a small business owner myself I was an entrepreneur but that scary c word COVID decided it wasn't my time to have that small business anymore and that's okay but I was able to make connections and build relationships, one of which was meeting you through the chamber and so many others. And I was able to refer people and help be that connector. And it led to where I am now, where I actually show up every day to be able to build those connections and make them. So what would be your ideal client? How would someone be a good referral partner for you? Um, people that's in the courts, the, the family laws, those people that have um, issues with kids and their family, you know, so that's part of relationship. Uh, you know, they may need some coaching, you know, to healing and helping them learn how to communicate with each other, relationship uh, building. Um, human resources and corporate businesses, their employees, uh, even themselves, may need some relationship building, team dynamics, and I also do that as well. Um, and another one is like therapists, counselors, those therapists that diagnose clients, you know, with different things, ADHD, all of this. Uh, once they're done with that therapy, they may need some relationship building, you know, so, and I can also help with that. Also do life enhancement. Everything don't have to be you coming to me because you have a problem, but you can just come to me. You're having a good day. You just want to enhance your life, you know, and I also offer services like that as well. But uh, that, that's what a referral partner looks like for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And anybody that needs help with the, I told you the, earlier, the bustle and hassle and tackle, of everyday burnout. You know, we all need some help with that. So, yeah. All right. So we've talked about your business. We've talked about where you came from and your passions and goals. Now we need to know how everybody can find you because everybody is going to want to talk to you now. I'm sure that there's lots and lots of businesses that would greatly benefit from your services and everything that you provide. So how would one get a hold of you? Well, they can go to my Facebook page. Um, it has all my information on there, my website, um, email on there. Um, you can go to the LinkedIn, Better Business Bureau page. I'm on there. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a plethora of ways to contact me. Everything Good. is on there. Yeah. All of that is also on the South Haven Chamber of Commerce. She has a landing page there because she yes. is one of our valued members. <laughs> so you can go to the Chamber of Commerce website or you can go directly to her Facebook or her website. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And it was wonderful having you here with us today. And I am excited to see what your launch is going to look like in December with your new programs. Thank I'm you for being here. I'm excited as well. I'm Super excited, working diligently all night, no sleep, me and Insomnia have been fighting <laughs> for the last five months, and I'm tired <laughs> fighting with them, so yeah. But it is a labor of love. Yeah, it is. The results is all worth it. It awesome. is. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for having me.
And I'm Kristen with South Haven Business Beat. And thank you for coming along with us as well. Be on the lookout for our next podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode of South Haven Business Beat. We would like to thank the following sponsor. Pure Focus Media exists to make high quality media accessible to all businesses, regardless of their size or budget. We believe that every business deserves to have its story told with clarity and creativity. And we are here to bring that vision to life. Would you like to be a sponsor of South Haven Business Beat? Please email us, info at southhavenchamber.com. Be sure to share and subscribe for more business resources. Thanks for watching.